Hello and welcome, my name is Nilas. this is episode 81 of our Let's Play campaign of Marathon Automation. I hope you enjoyed the base review and explanations I did last time, but now it's time to get back into action. We need to uh, continue the work. Last time we did spend a bit of time on the saline water that we now have in this network. Let's have a look. We have not as much saline water as I would have hoped. Why is it only 6,658? That is actually a bit peculiar. Why is that? Ah, that's because this one is not transferring. Ah, okay. It's only half of it that is being provided to the network because it only just pushes it up when it's needed. Now, let's start by saying, what is it we want with our saline water? The saline water, we want to put it into an electrolyzer. We can put that here. Yeah. Electrolyzer Mark II. This one will take the saline water and put it in. Start working on some way of doing it. And let's just put two of these. There, something like this. This is going to be nice. I don't actually intend to have any space in between them because oh yeah, we do because or maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. Because I'm actually going to hard insert them like this. This will then take the outputs and recombine them again without the water. Hydrogen chloride gas. So the trick here is or the no 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 that's not gonna work. That's just a recipe for disaster. Wow, good thing I didn't do that. Close. All right, because the issue is this one is producing only 40 chlorine and 60 hydrogen. That means I'm going to have an excess of hydrogen in this setup. I need to make sure that I get rid of the hydrogen. Otherwise, this will not end well. However, what I can do is still do pretty much basic insertion by just making it here. Hello, hydrogen chloride. Yes. No. Ah, that can also split it. That's interesting. So this recipe works in both an electrolyzed. This one works in an electrolyzed. Why does this work? Separation of hydrogen and chlorine. Hydrogen. Two seconds. It's. If, oh, that's a split of hydrogen chloride. That's not what I want. I don't want to split hydrogen chloride. That just put an effort into putting it back together. That's not going to happen. Do I want to put this one here? I could. I could. And let's also just put a light in there. Boom. We got to remember, this is very important. You're going to take some output. There. And that output is going into just a random box here, which means that's not a good idea. Unless I do something else. Yeah, the, uh, it's supposed it's going to be like this. That will be powered. This one will be that. And I'll be having this one. Boop, boop, boop. Good. Let's copy this one a couple of times. That is two, three, four, five, six. Thank you, Nanobot. You make my life very nice. Though I do want to get some real robots at some point. I mean, nothing bad about you, Nanobot. But for grand, for bigger things, robots are just superior. That's not a sort of provoking you into striking or anything, it's just a very, if I see it. So here I'll have my saline water. Unbarrel it, and that means I need to rest. Here. And I need to put that back in the network. Like so. Copy. Paste. 100. Thank you. And that's way too much. Liquids. 100. That's the rule. That's 10 stacks. Definitely enough. And here I will actually do something kind of strange, I think. Let's hold on. This will be overflow valve 
because first of all I want to put it in here if I can't put it in there then only the overflow out here the overflow will I vent it I think I'll actually vent it because this is not the way to make hydrogen it's such a small minuscule amount that needs in here so it's way too many I always take too many when I do this I make two just for safety Where are they? Oh, that one. And one is going to be plenty. Plenty of enough. Boom. This one, this is the one I will definitely be putting into a barrel, and that will be hydrogen chloride in a barrel. Cool. I like the fact that it's a barrel and not a Got to be a bit careful when transporting it, though, because that is risky. Here, this is empty barrels, and that will be the boxes. All right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to put a big light and a big light, because that's where the money happens. Or 10, nope, 100. Good. And then it empties from barrels. Question will be, though, that will I be able to get the empty barrels here? Let's just uh, create a stack of empty barrels. I thought the barrels were crafted here. Are they crafted? They're crafted there. Cool. Let's just get the ball rolling here. Just want to see that it works. Cool. It does work. And I'm creating like a stupid amount of hydrogen. Uh, what's it called? Sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide? Yeah. Well, that's very useful later on. It's going to be used for, what is it? Monochloramine gas? Uh, something like that. Wow, and also aluminium. I think, why am I creating like a million of those? That's a bit silly. I can craft a few just to make everyone happy with my luxury handcrafting skills. And not that. Just want to get a few more into this network. I should be venting most of what I get out of liquids, so I should be have a surplus here. Not sure though. And that means now I have hydrogen chloride. Well, what is it I need hydrogen chloride for again? Hmm. Hydrogen chloride is needed. Hydrogen chloride gas. We just need to put it here. Boom, got it. Right, that's hydrogen chloride. If we just look at ferric chloride, that's very simple. You just take some iron ore. We can request that and we need some Hydrogen chloride, let's request the hydrogen immediately. And let's take it over here. That means minimum 5,000. I think that's reasonable. I don't mind. Let's take 10,000 iron ore. I don't know why I do it like that. There, 10,000 minus. Boom. No, iron ore? That is just bullshit. That is bullshit. I know that. I know it. You are cheating me. That one is providing it. Let's see. Ah, you're right. I'm wrong. Someone messed it up when they changed it. There we go. Blip, blip. Landfill. Iron ore, copper ore, 10,000 iron ore to lead and plastic. I think we need to rename it lead and plastic to name it something that also mix. Lead, plastic, iron ore. Three things. Now I know why it's being transported to lead and plastic. It doesn't make sense if I transport something from... So that's going to be pretty simple, actually. Let's see. Whoops. Get out of our map view. Where do we make this ferric chloride? That we make in... Just make it in these. The only little things. Can I actually make the better ones? Yet. That's a distillery. I have no idea what a distillery is needed for. I have no idea. No clue at all. Probably like one thing in Angel's Mods. I don't know. What I do know is down here we have it. That requires aluminium, brass. Yeah, no, thank you. Nope, nope, nope. So we go to the ferric chloride. Is here, what is that? Liquid fuel. I don't know what liquid fuel is used for. That is a simple input. How much are we crafting? Takes two and a half seconds. So let's get a few more of these. Boom, boom. And unfortunately, the bad part about it is that it, it, this does not 
does not require here. This will be hydrogen chloride. Can I find it? Still empty. Yes. Third chloride. That's the problem. It requires canisters. Who the hell wants canisters? <sighs> this is going to be an issue. A big issue because then I need both plastic and iron ore coming in. That is... Well, I do have plastic coming in. So... That's one thing. Should I also then request iron? Yes. I guess I have to. Such a waste to have iron at this position. Um, that goes up here. And we're going to reduce this one to 6,000. To iron ore. Should we change the name again? Let's just call it instead of iron ore and plate and just say iron because it's both iron ore and iron plate. All right, so that is a little box I need at this location to craft them for me. Ridiculous. Canisters. Uh, iron and plastic. So at this location, I'll be requesting. You'll be requesting. And you will also be bring things out. Empty out there. You're going to be putting it there. You're going to put it there. This one. 200 because why not? And that'll just, and this one will then go into the network. Unable to put anything anywhere. Get you. And I'll remove you. Sorry for stuff inbound. I'll put you back up there. It'll look nicer because then I can put you here. And that one will only go as long as the network. It's not going to contain very many, less than 100 of these. And the reason is I'm going to request it to one of those locations. For example, here, this one will also request, uh, where is it? Canisters 2000. Right, so that'll have plenty. And now it's just a matter of finding a way to hook it up and then hook this part up and that part. And there. Everything is just fine and dandy, except I'm not getting any hydrogen chloride. Oh, kind of because I'm not requesting it. Damn. Anything being delivered? Yes, 10. Not enough. 20. Come on, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Come on, go, 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 go. More multi-phase oil. It's nice to see that it's extracting things in. This one is being ready. 90, come on. Request it up to 100. Yes, that's what we need. And here comes the first one. That's in a provider chest. That's interesting how fast this one goes. Actually, you have to also limit it. Connect to the logistic network and you're only chlormethane. Hydrogen chloride, less than. Hundred. Because again, I feel that the answer is that I put it in this requester. Let's see how much room, how many we are requesting three things. We can request one more thing. Request it here. There's no point in going far away. Boom. Here. That was actually a mistake because it's going to be split in two. So 1000 is enough. And also the hydrochloric. Hydrogen chloride. I don't know if I'm going to use it for anything anywhere else. But now I put it in the network. That'll be fine. Why are you not working? Why are you not working? Oh, because I'm a moron. All right. All right. That's kind of a big requester and big requester. You're going to move, you're going to move. There. That was kind of silly. 200. Copy, paste. These will be L and N. Copy, paste, paste, paste. I just 
like it when they even length. Not that it's really necessary. Okay, I just want to see this working. Put it into the network because once that happens, I know I can, I can, I can then cheat a bit. But don't tell anyone. This one keeps going, and this one will just only go to 100, but it will then continue to go to 100 until this one is full. Wow, that's also a mistake. I'll fix that as we. Yes, it's working. Cool. Now I'll fix this one. Because this is actually separate requests. Nope, that is uh, not a the right way we do it. Where's my little flyer? There you are. I'll pick you up and I'll replace you with normal barrel. Cool. That one's not going to be there. It's going to be right there. Let's move you as well. I'm sorry, that was a mistake. Never ever will I do that again. I will then take this guy. This is my balancer. I have mentioned it many times before how I do this. So we'll just I'll not be spending too much time on how to build this. I'll basically compare the content of the two boxes. If the lower one if this one has more, then it will start uh, throwing it up to the top one. And Set stagger, copy, paste. Cool. Look at that. Now we have even. Let's check. Is it provided to the network? No, it is not because I need to hook them up back up. It's gonna provide it to the network. Yes, it is. Cool. Now I will do one more thing because I actually have a little tricky location that is producing these canisters for me. But I wanted this. This is the industrialized ways of working on it. I can now go down here. I'll be requesting the canisters in, I guess this one will be for liquids. That's why we set the minimum here. This one will request. Where are you? Canisters, there you are. There, 2000. Nothing will be requested just yet because nothing is available yet. However, what if we pretend that it was and interesting how I I didn't even need the top one to be that okay first empty inventory and then go down here because my temporary thing down here I just set it up to build 2400 this look at that beautiful thing boom got it that's one of the first one it works but it's not ideal that will allow me to go to the next one. Now I, I know that I have several things that require hydrochloric chloride acid. If you look at it, here is this one, is that one, and then the next one as well. So I'm going to find a way to build this into it. So that means... That means actually, can this one work with liquids in it? I'm going to try it. Probably not exactly there, but could be. Go. Nice. That distance, or is it laziness? Boop, 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 boop. There we are. I've removed one mod, and that's the item upgrade. Because that would have said, no, 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 you need wood in order to make wooden chests, to make iron chests, I mean, to make steel chests in order to make big chests. And I'm not going to accept that. This is still not able to give up. How far are we, actually? We're at 4.1k out. Oh, that's crazy. We need modules. I think I need another row for this. I think that's going to work better if I have another row. So, oh, I'm stuck. What if we have some nice fancy beacons sitting right there? And then I need to build the next one. There. That's plenty of room-ish, though I'm going to run into trouble with that thing. I think I'll manage. I think I'll manage. Yet I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I also get the sense that this is not the best way of doing it. Okay, now I'm going to wreck things. First wreck and chest here. That is the correct location. 
that is the correct location. Uh, that's not because it's there. Miss this one. I'll start by actually making another one that fits better. There. Now I can remove this, and I don't know what you're doing. You might as well go the right way. Now we can remove this one, or more likely we can make it better. Now I can remove this, and can that reach with just one? Yes, it can. And now there's an issue over here. You're actually way too close. I'll put it there. Fine. And... Good. And then I'll just continue working downwards. There. Why is that different? See, there's a problem right there. There's something that's really strange. That means this one is not the correct location. But there's still a problem. Yes. Ah, uh, it's this one. There we are. Everyone's happy. Except, kind of not, but okay. There. I'll remove these holes in the middle because I don't actually want them. I've also decided that that's not how I want to enforce things to go. I will keep them for a while, but the ones at the edges I definitely want. This one is hooked up from that side. I can also just hook it up from this side if I want to be extra sure. There we are. Which at this point means, okay, there is a room for something and I'll just build another row down here. Cool. That's what I wanted. There. I'll have one, two, three. Definitely. Interesting. I've run out. Very good. That one. The distance I have between them is quite deliberate. Because that's enough for the sub beacons. Yeah, why is it actually one too many? So when I say quite deliberate, I actually mean no, it's not. But luckily we have nanobots to do the heavy lifting. E three overlap. And I'm prob I'm sure there's some brilliant way to do this even better, but I kind of like this design where everything is built sort of structured and actually, oh my God, I'm going to rebuild this so many times because there is a problem here. This one is not going to fly because I need see. these are like that. I cannot fill it in there. Because I need to be able to draw, draw like a one continuous line over. If I take this one, one away, then it won't cover the middle ones. So actually for this, it's supposed to be different. So I'll accept the fact that it's different. Actually need these in the middle. Yep, like so. Go down, great. Copy, paste, paste. And I need this all the way over, all the way back again. Turn, turn. And I'll need and it's put in. Oh, I've kind of ran out of those there. Okay. Let's see, this one might as well make that thing just so I know that's what it's all about. This one will be capped to. And as always, paste the boards. That one. Copy, paste. Let's see what we actually have. 200. 200. 
200. And now I have the... Good. This one will be taking that one out. I'll be creating a requester that I do not have. I've actually grown really fond of, of these uh, actor providers. I think that's they are way better. No, that's not correct. This one, actually the wrong one, it's the empty canister. Copy paste, this takes the canister. 100, anything being delivered? 100 being delivered, awesome. This one, things are being delivered, this is very nice. And this is capped, cool. Should I just go crazy and see if I can produce the next one as well in the dying seconds? Probably can't. Just want to check what I'm missing for it. Copy, paste, what are we missing? Everything. But that's good because we got to get something done in the next episode, right? Can't do all of it this episode. Gold is going to be interesting. That definitely requires sorting, but at least we know. Want to see the first barge coming in? Yes. You? Didn't you deliver something? Where are you? Okay, here comes the first one. Let's see. Coke. Ugh, no Coke. Must have Coke. Look at that beauty. We have the barrel, the boards. I'd, I'm just gonna force it through. Let's see. What about this one? Pretty sure we have everything now. Hundred. These are 500 because they are small items. And let's cap this one and then be extremely happy if this actually works. There, let's see. I am running out of... No, I should have plenty of bots in this area. What seems to be the issue? These ones, they are not producing because they're waiting for basic, basic balls. Yeah, you're just busy, busy, busy. Yeah, beacons, beacons, beacons. That's all I can say. I want more beacons. And I can also say, I now have electronic circuit boards. That's brilliant. Whew, time to end. Thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a major milestone. We're going to celebrate that by making unreasonable demands to our logistics network. Where is it? It's it, it's going to be over here. So this will be like, what is it going to be? I'm going to get that one. I'm going to get that one. And I'm going to get that one. And I want 5,000 of that. And I want 5,000 of this. Because this is unreasonable at this point. But on the other hand, Hey, at some point, I just have it, right? It's just there, so forget about it. Anyway, thank you very much for joining, and I'll be seeing you next time. I'll set the station up, but I can do that off camera. And we're ready to start some sorting next time, I believe, because now we finally have these and also being provided to the network, so that's very nice. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.